But today I have my top 20 OPI to share with you. Anyone who follows the blog knows I am a massive OPI addict. Um, this has been really hard but I've done my best to narrow it down. I've divided it into categories. So yeah, let's get going. First up is my most expensive OPI. <laughs> Uh, I paid just over £10 for this. This is the Magnetic Bond, James Bond, from the 2012 magnetic set that um, accompanied the Skyfall collection. I've only used this once. I used it on my birthday. And yeah, it's just kind of, it is a pretty standard magnetic. But this is going to be special to me. I love that I've still got it in this box. Um, let me see if I can get the magnet out for you. The magnet on the OPIs is actually quite good. It comes in this separate box. Aww. So this is what the magnet looks like and basically it's it's really well set up so you can just kind of squeeze it down, get it on your nail but without actually touching your nail which I think is really great. You've got obviously the rest there as well but you don't want to use that because you're going to whack your nail and wreck your polish. So yeah. I also like that it's got this uh, picture on the top of the effect that you should be getting. If you wanted to get something similar and didn't want to spend the £10 on that, there are the uh, SA, SA? SC Rep Style Effect polishes, which are I think £2.50 on fragrancedirect.co.uk, or they do pop up in TK Maxx as well. And I really like those. The magnet is slightly different on those, it's the standard kind of cat magnet, but yeah, there's another option for you. Next polish for you is um, in the category special to me. Um, this is Lucertinly Look Marvellous from the Swiss 2010 Fall Collection. This was bought for me by Stephanie who posts blogs now Wednesdays and Fridays on my blog PMP. Um, she's an amazing, amazing, amazing person and a really good friend who sadly lives across the pond from me so I don't get to see her very much. This is kind of a gunmetal silver. It is fairly sheer so you need two to three coats or to put it over a grey but it's stunning. I don't know if you're seeing all the sparkles that are in there but oh, I love this. Uh, this is my effects category. First up I have uh, Love Angel Music Baby or Lamb which is from the Gwen Stefani collection released in the spring of this year. This is um, a gold satin effect polish which kind of dries down to a matte foil finish. Really pretty, just needs one, two coats depending on how thick you apply. Dries really quick, it's really pretty. The sister to this, the silver sister, is uh, this crown needs a gown, or this gown needs a crown, from the Miss World collection, which I sadly don't have, I wish I did. Uh, but keep an eye out for that if you do like these satin matte polishes. Next in effects is Liquid Sand, and I've gone for Emotions, which is from the Mariah Carey... Uh, this is a black, sparkly liquid sand. It looks rubbish if you top coat it, but it kind of looks like um, frosted gumdrop in kind of a blackberry flavour. If you don't... I couldn't believe how gorgeous this was when I tried it out. You do need two coats because the first coat is kind of sheer, but that's not a major problem. This is really good um, for wear as well, wear and tear. I'll try and remember to link any posts that I've done using these polishes below so you can check those out. Sorry if you can hear my Facebook going off in the background, but I forgot to mute it before I started filming. On to the next category, which is office friendly colours. I've got two similar ones for you. First up, this is Steady As She Rose, which I'm actually wearing at the moment. Do a little pose for you. This is a really dusty pink with kind of hints of taupe in it. I don't know how well this is showing up. This is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which was a 2011 collection for Stranger Tides. This collection was super popular. All of the shades are absolutely gorgeous and they've all got this kind of dusty element to them. I picked this one up from Fragrance Direct, but I think it's now sold out. If you do like this and want something similar, uh, don't pretzel my buttons, which I think is from the Germany collection or from the Brazil collection released this year. Don't boss and over me around. They're quite similar. If you have a quick Google, there are dupe comparisons again that show you there aren't, isn't that much difference between these shades. Next is uh, Tickle My Francie, which is from the OPI Core collection. They're quite close as you can see, but the 
tickle my fancy is a couple of shades darker with a slightly more brown slant maybe. This is a gorgeous nude. This is like the perfect nude cream for mannequin hands, I guess. I was unsure until I saw Miss Holly Berry's talk about this and I was like, okay, okay, I've got to try it. This is meant to be the shiz. And I put it on and fell in love. Next category is pastels or pastels. Um, I've gone for Stranger Tides again from the OP at uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. This is kind of a dusty, dirty sage green and it is utterly gorgeous. When you first see it, you're like, really? That colour for nails? But trust me, this is my go to when I honestly cannot think of anything to put on my nails. I love it. Oh, I actually have two bottles of this. One I got as a half full from a blog sale for about a pound and this one I bought obviously full. Oh, I am worried about running out of this actually. That's why I'm keeping both. I probably am just being a hoarder but there we go. Next up is uh, Can't Find My Checkbook which is from last year's spring collection. It's kind of a dusty aqua blue, really gorgeous, oh sorry I didn't mean to knock you then, um, I don't know what to say about this, I just really like it. So there we go, I shall move swiftly on to the next category which is brights. First up, I don't know if this is going to freak my camera out, is uh, Red Lights Ahead Wear from the Holland collection which was released in 2012. Uh, this is a really bright red with orange, in kind of unnatural light it leans more towards the orange in natural light the blue tones come out and it becomes more red this is pretty close to neon i'm not gonna lie two coats for opacity thumbs up so yeah i haven't worn this a lot but i really do like this it's really nice bright red i'm not really a brights person so yeah Whoop. sorry i'm waffling a lot i'm just really excited i get to talk about opi and it's a subject i could talk about for days next up is i just can't copa cabana from this year's Brazil collection, I, I'm trying to resist the urge to sing, it's just, I can't help it with this polish. Every time I paint my nails, this beautiful, kind of light banana colour, mm, at the Copa, it had to happen, it just can't not happen. Two coats, amazing formula for a yellow. Oh, just look at, look at that sunshiny goodness. Weirdly, I don't wear a lot of yellow polish, even though I like weird colours. Um, but this is really just becoming a staple now for me. I've worn it quite a few times. Just check out this Pro Wide brush as well from OPI. This is my dream application brush. Ooh, can't get it back in the bottle. There we go. Ah, I love it. Next category is darks. This is 999 OK Fine, which is a grey with a touch of ooh, fluff on it. Touch of uh, green in the base. This is from the Germany collection, which I think was 2012. It's just really gorgeous kind of concrete colour, medium to dark on the nails. It's kind of chic, it's kind of a great alternative if you don't want to wear black on your nails. And I'd also wear this in the office personally, but that's just me. I don't work in an office, <laughs> maybe that's why. From last year's, uh, where was it, San Francisco collection, this is Incognito in Sol Salito, which is an inky dark navy blue. This does show blue on the nail unless you're in low lights, at which point it is pretty black looking. This is just gorgeous, I just use it a lot. Not much to say about it, a really good formula. Doesn't stain me, but I do always use I was talking so much that I got cut off because my camera got, oh, the camera memory got full up. That's the problem with shooting in HD on a point and shoot. Your memory card just gets full really quickly. So I'm going to go back to talking about um, Incognito in Sol Salito, which I think is the last one I was talking about. I was basically saying that this doesn't stain, but with these colours I do tend to double up on base coat and I do always use my natural nails OPI base coat, which so far seems to block everything. In removal, make sure you remove from a uh, cuticle down to your free edge. That stops it from getting trapped in kind of the layers of your nail. And also make sure you change your cotton ball or whatever you're using to remove regularly, just to stop yourself from staining with uh, loose wet pigments around your fingers. Just kind of stops you from smurfing yourself. The next category I have for you is my favourite collection from OPI and this is the Skyfall collection which was 2012's I think holiday collection. Um, I've just chosen three. 
The first one is Skyfall, which is this beautiful uh, maroony, purpley, vampy red. I wear this on my toes a lot. I worn it on my nails, but this is generally on my toes most of the time. I just like it. It's really easy to work with. Good opacity, good formula. Lovely. Thumbs up! Ooh, sorry, gigantic thumb. Right, I've got golden eye here, which I was going to include anyway because this is a stunning, golden, shimmery, flaky. Mwah, just love this. It is. It does need to be layered, and it does remove like a glitter, so be aware of that. But it is stunning. I wear this as an accent a lot rather than as a full mani because it is quite blingy. But sometimes, sometimes a girl needs some bling. I could have honestly chosen any and all of the polishes from this collection. The only one I don't have is Moonraker because I thought it looked really cheap. But all of the others are stunning. This is, uh, which one is this? The Spy Who Loved Me, which is the red with the golden shimmer. This is kind of a glass fleck, teeny weeny shimmer that just looks sparkly and magical on your nails. Again, I think this is a two-coater. Really nice, beautiful formula. The sister is You Only Live Twice, which is a more pinky one. Slightly less golden. I don't think this is going to show up. I was hoping like you could see the shimmer, but... How well I tried. So yeah, pretty much any of these, if you can get hold of them, are stunning. They've all got really good formulas. Uh, the other one I really like is Your Majesty's Secret Service, which is the blue and silver tint. Oh, we're almost at the end. If we don't count Your Majesty's Secret Service, I'm up to polish number 19, which is not like the movies. This is a polish I wasn't expecting to like. I am not a big duochrome fan at all. This is a purple to green flip. I don't know if it's going to show. Uh, basically, I picked this up as part of a blog sale at the same time as I picked up Teenage Dreams. And it was kind of a, oh it's there so I'll guess it thing. There are now lots of these duochromes being released by OPI. This one's really nice because it's got kind of little silver flecks in it. Which, unlike a hollow duochrome, it doesn't break up the, the duochrome finish. But it just adds a little, I don't know, softening sparkle to it. Uh, fairly sheer, but it does build up really nicely. Wears really nicely. I don't know, there's something weirdly feminine about this alien tone that I really like. I am a massive silvers fan, I don't know why there haven't been more silvers in here. On to the final polish, polish number 20, which is the newest OPI polish that I have, which is, uh, what's it called, Muppets Well Taught. This was actually loaned to me by Emma, who writes Imagination in Colour. Um, it's a big thank you to Emma for loaning it to me. I've got it as an accent today. I don't know if my camera is going to be able to focus on it. But basically this is silver, white, blue, pink, sparkly goodness. It does dry to a fairly textured finish, so you're going to want one or two coats of top coat on this. But it's really pretty. I haven't worn it on its own yet. I just, I knew I wanted to layer it with Steady As She Rose, so that's what I did. I'd love to see this with um, brighter colours. Oh, it's just, it's just really pretty. I really want to get my own bottle of this now. So there we go, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll try and show all of my little OPIs now. Um, yeah, it's just an introduction to my collection. I, I didn't mean this as a brag video. I have a lot more OPI than I've shared. Honestly, I could talk for days about these things. If you have any questions, post them down below. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Whew, so many OPI, not enough room. Oh, there's more. Quick, all the OPIs. Anyway, take care, lovelies, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.